I've never really been a person that goes outside that much because I'm kind of a, a, I'm really afraid of bugs. But this has given me like the opportunity to actually be like in touch with nature, so it's like a really cool experience. This is an amazing club. It's super fun. About five years ago, Spring Harbor got a small grant from the Madison Foundation Public, for Public Schools to start building a greenhouse. We wanted it to use just all reclaimed, recycled, repurposed materials. But the community stepped up and all of a sudden we went from having $9,000 to $20,000 in a short time. And all of a sudden we could change our vision. And so the vision changed, changed to more of an environmental learning center than a greenhouse. Without that we'd be looking at a glorified goat shed is what I used to call it. When the community was asked, they responded. And not just monetary donations, but we've networked with probably 40 or 50 different organizations to provide professional support, uh, advice, equipment, materials. I could, the list goes on and on of all the different companies that, that came out just to help us. You know, provide us with expertise, provide us with windows and doors and the knowledge of how to, how to build a building. The purpose of the project is project-based learning. I, I believe that if we get kids out doing things, not only do they learn a skill, but they create a memory that cannot be taken away from them, but they'll remember it for the rest of their lives. And when I put them on a project, they can work for two, three hours straight, building, constructing. I put a dr drill in one young lady's hand, um, and she begged to stay after two hours of work. Because nobody ever trusted her with a drill before. I think our community has to figure out a way to continue this. Um, our district is under a lot of challenges right now financially, but I really think that if the Madison Community Foundation found the value in this, our community should find the value in this as well to keep it sustaining. But nobody gives something and says, I didn't give, right? They, they typically, anonymous donors are rare, typically when people give, they tell others, I donated to that project. And then somebody else says, oh, I would like to do that too.